I'm going to come in and attach the white 6 op to the shank of this Tiemco 2499. Traditionally and typically this is a nymph hook, but in this size 6 it is a nice sturdy beefy hook. Great little shank and upturn point for some medium sized streamers. Let's have the thread attached there. I'm going to bring in and I start this hook right side up and I want to make sure that I'm pretty close to about a quarter inch back from the eye of the hook. I'm going to bring in this reasonably large set. It's a medium size brass. These are hairline double pupil uh, dumbbell eyes here. I'm going to get it fairly snug and attached and then I'm going to come in double check make sure I'm about parallel with my point of view there and then I'm going to come in with some zappa gap and touch it a little bit on that side and on the top side as well just to make sure everything bonds then work over it with a reasonable amount of wraps just kind of alternating back and forth making sure we build that up and really crank down on that so I feel like I have that fairly well connected I'm actually going to take some wraps right around the base of it and that's just going to wrench down on those thread wraps and really lock it into place between that and the zap gap that we have down there should stay pretty pretty sturdy pretty well in place for us as we move forward and fish that. All right, so now that I have those in place, I'm gonna come in uh, with my first white Magnum rabbit strip. And I'm actually just gonna pop this out of the vise. I'm gonna take the point of that hook there and I'm gonna stick it right through the hide, just ensuring that I have enough space in front to, to get to the front of the fly. Punch that through. And once I have that worked through, I'm gonna return that to the vise. All right. So I'm gonna let that piece kind of hang in the back. I'm gonna rotate this upside down. And I'm gonna bring that thread back just on the back side of the eyes. Now I'm gonna bring in the second part of the rabbit strip. Because this is a magnum strip, I'm actually gonna take it and I'm just gonna snip the front end of it just to give it a little bit of a taper. And that's just gonna make for a little bit easier tie-in in front of it. So my thread's right here in front of the eyes. I'm going to drop the tip of this rabbit strip in. I'm going to extend it forward just a little bit because when my thread catches it, it's going to tend to want to pull it down and back. So I'm going to catch that by the tip. Secure that with several wraps there. Make sure I'm not crowding the eye on my hook. Make sure that's nice and snug. And then I'm actually going to bring my thread back behind the eyes. I'm going to drop that rabbit strip over and I'm going to come in just with the point of my scissors, just kind of part that hair uh, about where I think it is on the back side of the eyes. I'm going to moisten my fingers just to kind of brush that fur out of the way. And just come over the top of that strip. I like to secure it with at least a half a dozen nice firm wraps. And then I'm going to return that thread right in front of it and rotate that upside down in the vise. So now I'm going to take my top piece. Pretty simply here. Once again, you can see the fur, it's kind of splayed and all over the place. Don't be afraid. If you're not comfortable licking your fingers, just keep a cup of water next to the vise so that you can moisten that fur and pull it out of the way. So I'm gonna look about where I need to be to catch this behind the eye of the hook. I'm gonna part it one more time here with my scissors. Moisten my fingertips a little bit if need be. Brush that out of the way. And then very simply, I'm gonna catch it with some thread wraps to hold it in place where I want it there. Just come up over the top of it, cinch down on it, catch it with a couple wraps, and then before I go further, I'm gonna come up right underneath it, snip it with my scissors, brush those kind of unruly fibers out of the way there, stick the nose of my bobbin right up in there, and clamp down on that rabbit strip. So the last thing I'm gonna do on the front here, I used to use crystal flash for this, but this year after hairline came out uh, with this ripple ice fiber, I'm just gonna take a few stray strands of the ripple ice fiber. And I'm gonna bring them about halfway up. So I want about half the length on this side. And I'm very simply gonna catch these on the near side of the fly to me. And then after one or two wraps, I'm gonna pull them down the other side of the fly. So I'm gonna turn 
pull it down the opposite side of the fly and just catch it with some thread wraps. Get that stray fiber to hopefully come back here and join us. Make sure that's all nice and secure. Clean that up just a little bit there. And at this point I'm going to come in, moisten my fingers once again, brush that hair to the back to keep it kind of clean and out of the way, and then just whip finish just with my hands. So before I come forward and glue the front here, I'm going to rotate this back upside down. And for me on this bottom piece, I only want this bottom piece to come back about halfway, about half as far as the top piece. So I'm gonna snip this off fairly short. So it's gonna end about part way down that rabbit piece. And because this isn't gonna kick and wiggle, um, because this piece is actually a shorter and is gonna stay that way, I'm actually just gonna use a little bit of Zappa Gap uh, to adhere these two pieces of the skin together. Bring this in, lay it on the skin, quickly bring this other piece down, and give those a nice pinch together for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then one thing I like to do is I'll come in and I actually like to cut this tail, add a little bit of a taper just to a point tends to kick and wiggle in the current a little bit better. 